Hello. In this video, I will show you how we can generate a contingency table or a cross tabulation for two uh, categorical variables. Whenever we have one variable, one categorical variable, for example, the gender, uh, we can create a frequency table from descriptive statistics, frequencies, and by selecting the frequency table, we can generate the frequency table for the specific variable. But when we have to compare that, the smoking with the gender, we need to create a contingency or a cross tab. In order to do that, we select from the descriptive statistics menu the cross tabs option. And if we move, uh, sorry, if we, uh, we need to define the rows and the columns of our table. Uh, if we want to represent in the rows uh, the smoking type and in the columns the gender, whether it is male or female, uh, then we need to define what we will include in every cell of the table. So we can either, uh, for the time being, we're, we're interested only in exploration so we will not uh, generate any z score or any any expected uh, counts so we include only the observed the observations the observed counts and for the percentages for the time being we let them unselected to see how it is if we press ok then we see that we have a, a summary for the cases and this is our contingency table containing the rows for the smoking types and the columns for the gender categories. In every cell we see that we find the frequency for the combination of the two variables. So smoking female, yes and female is equal to 8, the frequency is equal to 8. The total uh, column to the right side and at the bottom one uh, add either the rows or the columns. This is a simple uh, cross tab where we can see uh, the relationship between those I mean the frequencies between those two uh, variables. We can add a few more options here by selecting the cells and including the percentages per row or per column or per total. Let's click uh, the row first and see the difference. If we bring the table, the previous table and uh, the current table just to compare what additional we have, we can see that for every row in our uh, smoking variable, there is the percentage within smoking of the cases. So, for example, the 77 uh, male students who do not smoke account for the 51.3% of the total uh, non-smokers. And for the rest of the rows, we see exactly the same. So, for every row, the percentage accounts for the specific category. So the four uh, the four males account for the 33.3 percent of the smokers. We can add from the options either the column as well or the total as percentages. However the table is going to be a little bit more rich in information and we need to be sure that we understand how to interpret it. But in any case, we can edit that and we can rebuild the table. So let's see what we have here. We have for every cell, the value, the frequency, 77 and 73, female who do not smoke, 73, the percentage of the 73 for non-smokers is 48.7 is uh, for the gender the percentage is the 73 the number 73 
is 83% of the females. Okay, and the 73, the number is the 39% of the total number of our cases. So this is the most rich uh, information for exploration purposes. Uh, just to say that this table is editable and if we right click on the table we can edit the content either in the viewer or in a separate window where we can define additional options for formatting the output uh, if we if for example we want to use another type of fonts another color or a different uh, style we can use a variety of options here and we can customize that in order to be uh, more appropriate for our presentation purposes and when we save that we can copy as an image or we can export that as to a worksheet to uh, elaborate further so this is the way that we uh, follow this is the approach that we follow to generate a cross tabulation or a contingency table for two categorical variables thank you very much